after that whole situation, you ended up starting your own label. You you basically stopped working with Dame? No, no, no. I was continuing to work with Dame. Okay, so to this day you're still working you're still working with Dame. Yeah, Dame. yeah, in a sense. Like there my label, there's no contract signed on my label. Um I just created the foundation. Um and I really wanted the fans to know that um I'm pushing through the bullshit. You know what I mean? This is how I the way that I operated in funk volume was all based off of me and my energy, you know what I mean? And uh, I just wanted to continue that energy and keep the fans involved and and put on artists that I feel like um, represent hard work and consistency. And um, yeah, just pushing through the bullshit. And Dame was um, involved with that, but the paperwork and everything, so this is how my relationship kind of rekindled with Hobson. Because going into my own label with Dame, the back end of like certain shit, numbers, was a little weird to me, you know? And this is just me just going into business with Dame. Didn't really make sense. And um, there were certain things that I wanted Dame to be transparent about, and he wanted somebody else to explain it to me a little better. Um, and it created like some friction a little bit between us. But I get now why he wanted somebody else to break it down because it might just sound like runaround. It might just sound like a whole bunch of runaround if he's trying to tell it to you. Um, but yeah, we just ran into kind of like a brick wall for a second. Because if my eyes aren't wide open, you get what I'm saying? It should have just fly by you. Okay. So where is everyone right now? You, Dame, Hobson. Is everyone kind of cool, or is it just there's still some bad feelings, you think? Nah, uh, me and Hobson aren't cool. You, I mean, me and Hobson are cool, uh, but we don't, like, kick it. Um, I don't talk to him a lot, but I still got love for him, and I want him to do great in life, and I hope he keeps uh, good people around him. Me and Dame are cool. Um, I'm still trying to uh, figure out how to move forward with Dame uh, in a comfortable way. You get what I'm saying? But... The music industry fucked up some real friendships. Uh, and I know that that's important to Dame to uh, remain friends at the end of the day instead of trying to force some business shit that may not work. Uh, so we're, we're just trying to move forth in the best, in the best way. Um, Dame and Hobson, uh, right now, to my knowledge, I don't think they're talking, half talked, or cool. I don't think they're ever gonna be cool after that video that Hobson dropped. But at the end of the day, as long as everybody learned something and uh, niggas is moving forward and keep positive people around them, you know, everybody gonna be cool. Yeah, man. Is it tougher being on your own as opposed to having like the funk volume machine behind you? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a lot tougher. Um, but it, the, the, the outcome feels better. Like, dropping projects feel better. You know, I'll just come with my shit, you know, talking my shit. Like, yo, I want to drop this. Yo, I, I want to do, like, projects around this book. Or, like, you know, this is my state of mind right now, so I'm going to do a state of mind EP. Like, I was just coming in to funk volume with all this different shit. You know what I mean? And now the fans get to see that, Damn, Dizzy still moving the same way like he with Funk Volume, you know what I mean? We've been getting dizzy the whole time. So, uh, yeah. I feel you, man. I feel you. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just got to do it on your own. Yeah. Oh, now the weed thing has always been a, a theme throughout your music. Yeah. You know, as you wear your wake and bake shirt right now. As I, as I wear my wake and bake <laughs> shirt. <laughs> uh... I mean, in terms of the weed culture in general, like, what have you seen over time? Because, I mean, I, I live in California. Do you, you live in California or still, still in Vegas? Vegas. Okay. So, it, well, weed is legal in Vegas now, right? Yeah. You know, being such an advocate of weed, like, what have you seen, like, change over the last couple of years? Um, first of all, I like that, you know, I, I don't think that, I don't want people to be treated like criminals for marijuana. That's insane to me. You know what I mean? Especially when they put drugs in the processed food, but whatever. Um, I really just want people to understand the benefits of the marijuana and do their research on how it can help you. Um, but it's not for everybody. 
it might slow some people down. But the people that need to be that uh, need to be picked up, you know, might get exactly what they're looking for without the 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 uh, the medicine, the drugs, the you know, the shit that they try to keep you on, the cure. Um, I think it's the most natural cure. Yeah, and I saw a video. I think Burner put it out where there was this weed facility in Vegas that's like a hundred million dollar facility. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. It's like this crazy like factory with its own like, uh, you know, filtration system and its own water system and they have like oh, a word. huge indoor weed facility. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I gotta look that up, that's crazy. It's crazy, man. Yeah, no, it's turned into the next big thing. I mean like, uh, this one weed company bought a town. In, I heard about uh, in that. California. I heard about that. They bought the yeah, turn into a little Amsterdam. Right, and uh, Damien Marley, he actually teamed up with a weed company, and they bought an, an abandoned prison, and uh, is turning it. They've turned it into like a, a weed growing facility as well. Oh, it's crazy. I heard about that yeah. too, though. Yeah, some crazy shit. You called Logic the best MC out there. Yeah, one of the best He's MCs the out there. One of the best? Okay, not the best. Not the best. Not the nah, best. Who would you say is the best? I'm the best. Not nah, playing. You're the best. Um, nah, man, we're all, we're all great in our own way. Um, Logic is definitely one of the best MCs out, though, for sure. Okay. Now, weren't you guys supposed to do a project together? Yes. What happened with that? Uh, life. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my label and... You know what I mean? The back end of my shit was dismantled, fucked up. And uh, I had to do a lot of rekindling, you know what I mean? Um, even just like on the road, when I went on the road with Logic, I wasn't as focused as I would have liked to be on being just an artist because I had to figure out what the fuck I was gonna do next. You know what I mean? I needed new lawyers, new management, new business managers, needed niggas to help me control my money. The whole uh, structure that I had in place was kind of stripped from me. So, uh, yeah, life. Well, that's too bad, because Logic's last album was dope. Yeah, it was killer. Like, he, he stepped it up. You know what I mean? Because I'll be honest, like, because I interviewed him, I think, right when he first started, you know, got signed to, uh, you know, Def Jam. And uh, when I first heard, I'm like, it's, it's cool. Like, you know, this is, you know, I, I can see how, like, you know, younger fans would kind of, you know, dig this and kind of, like, you know, sort of like a mixed crowd would dig it. But, like, it seemed like he matured as an artist album after album. And this last one, I feel like, you know, is definitely the strongest work. Yeah. What I like that Logic did is um, he, uh, he brought all his, he put all his people in one place. Um, he came to L.A., had his producers his homies, everybody moved into one house. And uh, they came up with an amazing, like the vision just came together amazing. Um, it was nice to see something, you know, so well put together come out of what I know they were trying to create over there. Yeah. I mean, is there a chance of you guys working together again? Yeah, man, if he still wants to um, throw them bars out there, absolutely. <laughs>